Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with my week 3 of April for my cash stuffing. I'm not only be cash stuffing my sinking funds and also my savings challenges. And um, I think I told you all last week that I'm done with my 8 savings challenge. But I do still have my birthday money. So, and I'm not going to spend anything on my birthday like what I said in my last video. Because I thought that I can actually use it more for giving. Because this is a month of Ramadan which is a month of giving um, and also a month of doing good, doing good deeds. That's why uh, I'm not going to spend anything. I'm just going to put under my 8 savings challenge. And um, I will start on a new challenge again with 700 dollars in it that i'm actually stuffing which is later on i will just show it to you but uh currently i do not have any uh do not have enough of my salary to actually supply for my uh cash envelopes for my revolving so that's why i'm not stuffing it at all so i will just be focusing on my sinking funds uh and also my saving challenges so i'll be stuffing a total of 100 and $180 for my savings and my saving funds excluding the 8 savings challenge so it's all inside here in my income envelope so I will just take it out and I just count it together with you so that's 50, 100, 110, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80 so that's $180 that I have right here and I'll just put it here and arrange it on the side and I will put this envelope to the side and after that bring in the sinking funds cash envelope cash and binder so let me start with Umbra and Hajj so let me open this up and stuff my binder first so in Umbra and Hajj I should be stuffing in $5 so that will be a total of. Open it up. I still haven't do the uh, new cash envelope. I broke it, so I'm still um, procrastinating. Yep. So currently there is 100, 200, 25, 210, 215, 217, 219, 221. Yep, that's correct. So in total. $221 in Umbra and Hajj and then in luxury that will be $5 as well so it will all be 5 for my sinking funds Make it 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 57, 59, $61. And that's correct. I don't know whether how y'all are doing so far. Are you doing well? And holiday, we'll be putting in five again. Um, in this month of Ramadan, um, it was it is quite a tiring month because I did a lot of morning and I did woke up early every time for sahur and yeah, it's very tiring. So currently in holiday, there is ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five dollars in holiday. That's correct. And is there anything or uh, new challenges that you are doing for the month of Ramadan for those Muslims out there? Yeah, so in holiday, uh, yeah, correct. Every day I stopped already in technology, putting in five. So I was planning to actually save up for a new phone because there's something wrong with my phone currently. It's still working, but um, I don't know why my internet or my 3G or 4G is not working well with my phone right now. So currently in technology, there's 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 47, and 49 dollars in technology for 2022. And then in total, there's currently 153. Yep, so... 
uh, this, uh, I'm having a problem with it so I will try my best to see if there's anything for me to fix is it my phone or is it my sim card then in school same thing as well five dollars and I still haven't fixed the zip and in school currently there is 50, 55, 60 for the year of 2022 and it's total of hundred and ninety four dollars. In school, which I was planning to take it for my masters, and hopefully I will be able to do so. In house, I will be putting in five as well. And currently in house. There's a 50, 55, 60 as well. And currently in house, there's $181. I'm slowly saving up and uh, yeah, for uh, to buy a house. So hopefully, I can save a million. <laughs> Which I know is a bit um so far ahead because it's only 181 dollars inside in texas would be five dollars as well so currently in texas is 10 20 30 40 45 50 55 And in total, that's five hundred and eighty-one dollars. In Texas, like I don't know, I have a question. Like, how do you all save up for a yearly um bill? Like Texas, you know that you do have to pay for it every year. So once you save up the amount or you have paid already the taxes, when do you restart it? Like I want to save, like I really paid for my taxes um, last time and I don't know when I should restart on saving for my taxes again because I thought that I'm done with this, I'm not going to see it, but then I do have to pay it for the next year. So I don't know when to start. Do I start it like straight away after I paid it off or do I take a break? Like whenever I save for my eat and Ramadan, that's what I've always been thinking. I don't know whether when I shall start saving or when should I, I know when I should stop because until I save that current amount, then I stop saving it any already. Once I reach the goal and if I do want to save more, I can put it more, but when do you restart that again? So in emergency fund, I'll be putting in $5. Yeah, it's been my question, like how, when do you start or when, yeah, when do you restart again? And I'm at the same fund currently the 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. In a majesty fund. And most likely by the next video you will see that all my funds are being uh changed because I do a bill exchange uh outside of this video. In medical, this five dollars. It's 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. That's all for my savings challenge. Uh, so my sinking funds. And I will go straight into my savings challenge now. So I will be putting 125 in my savings. So that will be this one, five and two tens. So that's 125. So currently in my saving challenge, there's 5,000, 10,000, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
and I hopefully that is correct. 19,255. Yes, that's correct. Finally. Yes, so currently in savings is 19,255. Alhamdulillah. Almost reaching the 20,000 again. And I do owe money inside here because I use some of the money for my uh, facial, which I haven't paid back. And I will go straight into the end of uh, Before that, I will just color my savings challenge, which I always forget. So that's 125 for this wig. So just color it as purple. And 25 for my savings challenge and then I'll be putting in 10 for my end of fear so I'm just going to color it in for end of fear and that will be ten dollars I'm saving slowly but surely I will be able to save a lot and I will go straight into my uh, 8 savings challenge which would be oh, wait, oh sorry oh no wait <laughs> so currently I am not counting for the end of year and I'm not counting for the 8 savings challenge and I'll be putting in $700 and I'll just count together with you to see whether everything is correct so currently that is 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 50, 60, 670, 680, 690, $700 in 8 and I already colored in everything for my 8 savings challenge I completed 1000 and this is my several hundred dollar saving challenge and I already cut every single thing inside here so that I will make this video faster because I counted the previous time it was really very slow so I learned from it so that's currently $1,700 in my savings challenge I already used up some of the money over here to actually purchase my uh, clothing or the traditional wear but the coral for my high raya so that's why um, I'm I think I'm left with one thousand and five no one thousand and four hundred dollars in here. So that's a lot and hopefully I'll be able to use up the money inside here um wisely and everything. Yeah, that's all uh, for my this video. Just want to show you an update regarding my Ramadan Satan challenge. I do still have a bit of leftovers and hopefully i will able to use more of it for um this ramadan and for the last 10 days of ramadan as well so hope that you all um have a good uh, time watching my video and for those muslims out there uh yeah hope that you all have a blessed uh, uh, month of ramadan thus far and that we will do more good this in the future inshallah so that's all and i will see you all again in my next video bye